The people over here are from a very diverse set of countries, from different cultures, different backgrounds, different opinions, different ways of thinking. And the beauty of it is that they're open-minded. That when when you know when when you meet people over here, you can go to you know Pete's, you can go to Starbucks, and just hang out there and start talking to people. They they treat you like an equal, and they don't get defensive. If you ask them what you're doing, they'll tell you what their company is doing. You do that in Syria. You do that in in um, in Mexico. You, in, in, in almost any country, you do that in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Right? People get suspicious. Mm -hmm. They think that you're going to steal the idea. Um, what people here realize is that when you share an idea, then um, the idea doubles. In other words, you have the knowledge and so does someone else, and then you get feedback from them, and therefore it triples. Now what's happened is that you've enriched yourself. By, by sharing your idea, you've gained knowledge from the other person. You, you basically have pooled your knowledge, you crowdsourced your knowledge with two people. Imagine if you crowdsourced your knowledge with 10 people, with you know, 100 people, with 1,000 people. This is what is more and more happening over here that it's one giant crowdsourcing platform, Silicon Valley, where you share ideas. But the fact is that every time you fail, you get smarter. So in Silicon Valley, we understand that. I'm saying we because I'm Silicon Valley also. Fadi Silicon Valley. Right? We understand that. We understand that you have to iterate your way through it. Therefore, the more you fail, the likelihood that the smarter you are, the more experienced you are. If you've done four startups, and one was a moderate success, three were complete failures, you, know, you begin to think this, this person is really um, very experienced. The chances of succeeding are much higher right now. Now, if you've done 10 startups and every one of them has failed, I'd say you are a failure. Go and get a job. <laughs> but you're allowed uh, you know, a few attempts to, to, uh, to get it right. So this is, again, a unique Silicon Valley thing. Again, when I talk about Silicon Valley, again, I'm mostly very respectful and, and it's ooh-ah. But Silicon Valley is doing the same old stupid things over and over again. <laughs> Everyone builds the same old stupid media applications. Everyone jumps on the same bandwagon. The VCs will only fund fun one type of company. The opportunities right now are endless. You don't need venture capital anymore. You can uh, bootstrap all. You know, the the fact that the, the parts of this are, are cost eight dollars. This is world changing technology. I'm talking about. You can buy these parts here in Silicon Valley. You can go to Radio Shack and buy some. You can order a lot of them over the internet. You can uh, get, get DNA samples on the web. You can store them on uh, you know, the Amazon cloud and start building all these sophisticated apps right now. Nothing's stopping you. The cost of startups is nothing. It's just your salary and maybe a couple of other people in some office space. And you buy some, uh, some odd computers and some sensors and, and you can change the world. You don't have to wait for uh, Silicon Valley to do it. When you go back to your home countries, you can go and build all these amazing applications over there. Silicon Valley no longer has a monopoly on innovation. Anyone anywhere can change the world.